In this video, I'm going to show you a winning winter product. I'm going to show you the winning Shopify store, and I'm going to show you some winning ad creators for it as well. So to give you a bit of background about this product, I found it on flipper.com. It's currently being sold by a store called Petty Paws, um, Teddy Paws, I should say, dot store. Um, the monthly profit, as you can see on average, is 20,000 US dollars. Um, and this store actually has a bid on as well. So a lot of stores you'll see that come on flipper.com, they don't actually manage to get sold. So the fact that people are bidding on this shows the demand for it and shows the true potential behind it. Um, now, if you've got a keen eye, you've probably seen that the site age is only three months. So you do need to approach with caution. I'm not saying this is a guaranteed home run winner. What I am saying is that there's definitely potential for this product. If I take you all the way down to the bottom, we can see we can't see December just yet, which is um, unfortunate. However, they do give some background information on that. But we can see October the first month, 15,000 US dollars. Um, November, 42,000 US dollars that's in sales with a profit of $26,000, um, which is not to be sniffed at. Like, that's very, very good um, considering they've only been in business for a couple of months. That truly is one of the beautiful things about dropshipping and why I think dropshipping is the best business model um, out there. The hardest thing you will find is find, or the fight, yeah, the hardest thing you will come across in dropshipping is finding that initial winning product that gets you that success. But once you do, then scaling things up is relatively simple, assuming you've got a good supplier um, to work alongside with. So where did I see it? So notably, the business is making a profit of $18,000 in December so far. So like I said, granted, these sales are pre-Christmas. However, it's still cold in January. It's still cold in February, um, still cold in March. And if you live in the UK, it's still cold in April, May, June, July, <laughs> August. So it's definitely a product that's got current and future potential. Um, and even when we do get to like the summer months, you can just change again. Another beautiful thing about dropshipping is you can just change where you're going to be selling the products and target those colder countries. Like when it gets warm in the UK, I believe it gets cold in Australia. So you could just switch over there for a few months. So Teddy Pause is an established e-commerce business operating in the USA and Canada markets. So there's another kind of common question I get asked is, is this product saturated? Will it work here? Will it work here? So on and so forth. These guys are selling this product in the USA and Canada. They're not selling it anywhere else by the sounds of it. And the USA and Canada are not the only two countries in which it is cold this time of year. This product, in my opinion, has tons and tons of potential. I would probably stay away from US and Canada, probably because I'm based in the UK. I like to stick to home home turf um, to begin with. But wherever you may be watching this video from now, if it's cold where you're living, then this is definitely a good product for consideration. Let's go through some more information on the business. So influencer partnerships, collaborations with influencers have been pivotal in generating authentic UGC. Um, I'll show you that UGC, the exact UGC in a second, so you can see exactly what it takes to sell this product. These guys as well, uh, where did I see it? So the primary source of income for the business is Shopify payments, currently substantial 18 grand in December so far, 11 grand profit for November. Um, they stated it was a bit more than that in November. They put 26K profit in November. So that's something to, again, just keep in the back of your mind. They're using paid Facebook ads, so I'll try and dig those out in a second. Um, the ones that I have lined up to show you are these here. So UGC content from TikTok is utilized across all platforms. So I couldn't actually find it on the Facebook ad library, which is annoying, but however, but I did find it on TikTok. So I'll show you that in a second. Just a couple of bit of extra pieces of information, which is always, um, important clues to the puzzle so um, these are opportunities for growth paid facebook ads and actually increasing um, incorporating paypal to get this level of success without even using paypal is pretty good um like i'd say somewhere between sort of 60 and 65 percent of my orders will come through paypal so the fact that they're doing this without um is a very very good sign um the other thing as well to point out um, a lot of people will a lot of people i work with um i do like onboarding calls um and they'll ask me a popular question is how many hours a week do I need? Can I do this alongside studying? Can I do it alongside a job, family, commitments, that sort of thing? So website maintenance time requirements, the business demands approximately 15 hours per week of commitment. Um, I would say that's probably a little bit on the high side. They could definitely get that down if they outsourced certain things. Given the amount of profit they're making, they should probably definitely look at doing that. But again, another beautiful thing about dropshipping is it doesn't require that much of your time once things are at this level and at this stage. 
So let's take a look at their store. Their store is very much set up as a social media store. So what you'll see is that a lot of the imagery, so things like this, as you can see, um, is set up to look like it's number one, being viewed on a phone. Number two, it's like a TikTok post or Instagram post. Um, it's very much aimed towards a younger audience um, that will come across their ads on the social media platforms. They do a really good job of giving the consumer all of the information in that very first hit and that very first load of the page. So lots of different um, bullet points, only eight items left in stock with a moving part, a moving gift there. That's super easy to do, by the way, to have that on your site. Um, they've got, as we can see, these bundle offers here to help increase um, average order value and the add to cart button as well. Size guides, everybody knows what order, what size they need to order. And everything after that is pretty textbook. And I was just about to say relevant, but oh God, they even have this example product title, like this store, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So this store is making a claimed 15 to 20 grand profit per month and they still have an example product and title on it. So just going back to my previous point, I was about to say almost irrelevant and that would almost prove it. Like people don't scroll that far down your page, not the average consumer. The average consumer will probably go maybe halfway down. If you've got reviews, maybe even go and check those out. These guys don't even have a review app on their site by the looks of it. So just goes to show. If you have a good product with a good creative, then everything else can kind of take a back seat um, in terms of, I was just checking for reviews, can kind of take a back seat in terms of importance levels or where you should be um, putting your focus and attention. So what does it take to sell this product then? As you can see, it's basically really long socks. Um, they call them slipper socks. We'll head into the TikTok ads library. Um, they're most, they have by the looks of it like three different types of creatives. Um, I'll just play this one for you. I don't know if you'll hear it with my microphone, but um, super easy creative. It doesn't actually show anyone's face in it. So I can zoom it on. So you could actually film this yourself if you, even if you weren't comfortable being on camera, like it'd be pretty easy to kind of film that yourself. And in the background, I don't know how legit this is. This could be why this one's actually been removed. Um, it sounds like an audio clip. Don't ask me how I know this. It sounds like an audio clip from the Kardashians. So it sounds like the Kardashians actually talking in the background. So it gives off that impression that they're talking about the products when they're definitely, definitely not. Let's take a look at this one. This one has a popular Christmas song in the background. That's probably why it's only six seconds long. Again, a super easy piece of content to film. You haven't even got to show your face. Uh, let's have a look at this one. This one only six seconds again. Again, another popular Christmas song in the background. And this is actually a completely different product, a heated um, hoodie. So this is definitely their bestseller. These are the two ad creators I've used to sell the product. So in this video, you've got all of the components to a winning successful store. Um, you've got the products that we know for fact is selling well. You've got the Shopify store design that you can use for inspiration. And now you've got the ad creators as well, which you can also use. Um, before I end the video there, what I wanna show you is, um, if you're still watching this video at the moment, and first of all, I want to say thank you. Um, nextly, I want to invite you to something that is 100% free. So now I'm actually preparing to have it loaded up. Um, if you're watching my video up to this point, then you're probably quite serious about starting a dropshipping business. And if you are, you are the ideal person I want to work with. Um, this is why the message is at the end of the video, to get rid of those people who jump from video to video, skipping through skipping and don't take action and don't actually consume the information in the video. I wanna work with people who are truly committed to this. So if that is you, then I wanna invite you to have a call with me. Um, we can jump on a Google Meet, it'll be 30 minutes long, 100% free, we can have a chat, me and you. And basically what I want to do is get to know what your current level of experience is and where you are at the moment, um, see what you want to achieve in the next kind of one, two and three months. Um, and then if we're a good fit together and we have and we get on well on the call and you want to, perhaps we could strike up some sort of deal where we're working together um, and helping you scale your very own dropshipping business, regardless of what point you're at. If you're a complete beginner, most of the people I work with, by the way, are complete beginners and never made a single sale. So if that is you, totally fine. Booking a call, we'll have a chat um, and we can see if I can be the person to help you get to um, whatever your goal may be. To do that, what you need to do is come down to underneath this video um, into the description. What you might need to do is click this button here to click more and then at the bottom here you'll see this secret link when you click that it will take you to this page here so the free 30 minute strategy session um, there's a few onboarding questions just so i can kind of get to know you um, and it kind of 
puts off any time wasters. Um, like I said earlier, I want to be working with those people who are serious about making dropshipping working for them. Um, so just go through them. It takes three minutes um, and then you can book in a date and time that suits you, a date and time that will fit my calendar. And we, like I said, we can jump on a call and we can have a chat um, and see what's what. If that sounds good, make sure you do that now um, and I look forward to meeting you on the call. Cheers.